As Kristen mentioned, state leaders have approved a new substitute regulation, and it allows those with a high school diploma or an equivalent to apply for a teaching license in Nevada, but only during an emergency declaration. Mary Jane Bellieso shares how the Commission of Professional Standards are responding. Nevada Department of Education wants to make this permanent, but there are concerns about how qualified applicants are with just a high school diploma and limited training. It's been an ongoing problem even before the pandemic. Not enough teachers and not enough substitutes. Kenny Belknap with the commission, an educator at Liberty High School, says emergency substitute teachers need more training. I find it troubling, especially with these emergency sub licenses, that we're saying it's okay that you know someone with a high school equivalent diploma can serve as a long-term sub, someone who can serve in a classroom with you know 40 plus kids for an entire school year, teaching them the content area that they need under this emergency declaration, and. Um, you know, there's no accountability. The commission has provided accountability recommendations, suggesting subs routinely meet with administrators and undergo an evaluation process. Commissioner Jordan Winger agrees with this proposal. I'm just really concerned that these uh, emergency substitutes are being used in our Title I schools um, more frequently, um, and those are our kids that are need the best instruction. So I want to make sure that this regulation is um, giving them that accountability um, of getting the best teachers in there that are qualified. Currently, there are 600 emergency subs in Clark and Washoe County school districts. These subs will be teaching for the remainder of the school year and next year if Nevada remains under a state of emergency. I, I look at the emergency situation right now. It's a temporary thing. Um, we're doing a lo it looks like we're doing a long-term fix to a temporary problem. Um, I think a real fix to this is the districts really looking at what they're doing with their subs, providing better pay, uh, incentivizing people to work for them rather than relying on state regulations. Reporting in the newsroom, Mary Jane Bellieza, live local now.